Hi everyone, it's Jennifer again. I am doing a quick review. Um, this is kind of a last minute unplanned thing. The inventor of the Magic Ripper sent this product to me and I started to do a TikTok and thought, you know, why don't I just do a short YouTube video showing the benefits of this product and how to put it together. I expected it to come already assembled, but the pieces came and it looks relatively easy. So right on the box, you have four pieces that look like this, these four arms. You have two of these brackets. And, uh, these look like some kind of pads, probably to protect the floor. And then you have a baggie full of hardware. So uh, step number one is to undo the thumb screws on the left and right gripper. Uh, what thumb screws? I don't see any thumb screws actually on here. Okay, that might be one of those deals where that step is not relevant. Um, okay, so it looks like you take the, what is this part called? The, this is the sprung hinge. Okay, you're gonna have four pieces like this, but two of them look like this and two don't have this mechanism in the middle. Okay, so when this piece goes on, this part you adjusted with your thumb goes through that slot. And then you take these screws, they're calling them knurled screw. Never heard of that word before in my life. Um, again, I'm a woodworker. I'm not generally doing this kind of thing. So you insert this screw here and you just tighten them with your hand. And then the other one here. And then you're gonna take the opposite piece that does not have that mechanism. Okay, so then you would just line up these holes with this other side. And I bet those are just the pan head screw. Okay, so it looks like this one's gonna be stationary. This is the one you adjust. There are three holes. And you just line up the three screws. It's hard to do in midair. I'm having trouble getting those started, I have to say. Come on, Nelly, work with me here. I don't want to strip anything. Do not want to go any easily. Ooh. All right. So these pan head screws or posy screws or whatever they call them um, did not start easily, and for me they were a little difficult to get in. But I mean, anyway, that looks like that's all there is really to assembly. And so here's how. Other than, okay, you have little pads to protect your floor. There's like a, a slight bevel. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Can you see there's a slight bevel there? And I'm gonna guess that that goes uh, face down. This seems self-explanatory, but it goes this way, not that way. Um, but you can't just assume that people would know that, so. Okay, so here's how this goes. So in theory, um, you can adjust this for the thickness of whatever it is you're holding. And so when you walk over, say you're gonna put a door, which I'm gonna demonstrate, um, when you stick it in there, it automatically closes it and holds it securely. So let's give it a try. Okay, so as you adjust this with your thumb, it brings that together. And then once you get it where you like it, you lock it into place by tightening these. Assembly was easy except for these pan head screws for me. You might have stronger arms, which probably everybody watching does. Um, so this for me was a little difficult. The screws didn't really want to start that easily. They felt like they kind of wanted to go in different ways. So I had to use a drill to tighten those. 
you might not have that problem. That was the only thing that was a little difficult for me. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just do that for the other side and I'll show you how it works. Just set them on the ground. Take whatever you're working with. And when you set it right in the center, the weight of the object holds it in place. So there you have it. This is called the Magic Gripper. Um, I know there are people out there watching that could use something like this. It's basically like another set of hands. It seems very well made. The only thing that I would say is that the pan head screws were a little bit hard to attach, but that's nothing you can't overcome. The only other thing that I might like to see is some type of a gauge to tell you how large that gap is as you're adjusting. I don't even know if that's anything that's possible. Um, but it looks like it's kind of trial and error. If it's too sloppy, you would have to take the material off, adjust it, and then reinsert it. Other than that, though, I could really see how people that do this type of work every day could benefit from this. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will contact the inventor and ask them if I don't know the answer to it. So as always, um, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.